Hi you guys, so most of you know me from Instagram. My name is Robin Davis. I ride BMXs, mountain bikes, and basically just an all around outdoorsy kind of person. Um, and a lot of you have asked me to start up a YouTube channel. So I thought, why the hell not? It would give me a better chance of interacting with you guys and you get to see my progress, whereas I get to document it at the same time, which is always a good thing. So one of my good friends, Laura Whitty, I will add her Instagram and her YouTube channel in the description. So if you could check that out, that'd be great. She sent me a package to help with this. So I thought for my first YouTube video, I would do an unboxing of what's in here, just to show my appreciation to her as well, more than anything. And then I will head out on the mountain bikes and show you guys a bit of my riding. And because she's such a good friend, she has wrapped it super well. <laughs> It has literally taken me like 10 minutes to try and get into this box. Look at the state of it now. There was so much tape. Why? Like honestly, I'm sweating. <laughs> like I'm exhausted. Oh my God. So yeah, almost there. Will it open? Oh. Yes! Finally! Like, okay. This is cool. Because it's just like a big, nicely wrapped lot. So, what's in here? Okay, we've got a memory card. Most of you will guess already. It's a GoPro. Ah, you're literally the best. So yeah, ah, thank you so much. And also this is gonna be so helpful because I'll be able to stick this on my helmet or put a chest mount on and you guys are gonna be able to see me flying down the trails. So yes. Literally the best friend ever. Also, she's put some stickers in there for me. A little cloth to clean the lens, always handy. A bit of extra pieces. So, I hope you enjoyed me really struggling trying to get into that box. Like literally was the hardest thing I've had to do in ages and I am exhausted from it now. But, such fun. Okay, cool. So there's a, she's put in a little charging cable for me too. Awesome. Oh, it's super long too. Normally they come and they're like this big, but she's put a really long one in there. More stickers? What? She's so put some like cool little GoPro decals in there. That's awesome. <laughs> Instructions. I just realized that that's going to come out backwards, but... It says, should have read that, really should have read that. This is true, because I just don't really use instructions. I just tend to just guess and then everything goes wrong. So this is awesome. So use a manual, because I am really bad with technology and I don't know how it works most of the time. So that's that. I ha now am the proud owner of a GoPro and I can now show you guys a bit more of my riding and document it, which is awesome. Okay, so enough jibber jabber and I shall head over to my local trail centre now and I will give you guys a little sneak peek into the trails around there. And yeah, you guys get to see me ride, so awesome. Let's go.
so there you have it uh two short clips of two of my favorite trails at my local um it's quite short and sweet because we had a few problems with gopro angles and um we had to adjust a few a few of the angles and yada 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 so um i just picked the two best ones out of out of the lot that we got and yeah I've thrown them in there but as it's just my first video it's just an insight you guys get to see what's to come and and yeah and this video really is just a step in stone so you guys can just flood the comments with ideas and suggestions of things to come and um, GoPro angles where you prefer it whether on a chest mount or a helmet or on the bars uh, you go ahead and just leave those in the comments for me that would be great um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Also, before I go, huge, massive shout out to the amazing Laura Whitty for making all of this possible, for sending me a GoPro and really just pushing me in the direction that she knows I need to go. So thank you so much to her. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will leave her Instagram and YouTube in the comments. So if you could go and check that out for me, that would be great and one last thing before I go a few people have approached me and have said about their bikes and not being confident enough to go to their local trails or um, mountain bike parks because they're embarrassed of their bike or they don't feel confident enough to take it to a place like this because they feel they're going to be judged my bike cost me a hundred pound second hand and I know it's had to have a lot of repairs done on it recently because of wear and tear. I think it's like 11 years old. But for me, I've progressed so much on this bike and I have fun, like real honest fun. Whenever I'm out on it, I'm laughing, I'm enjoying myself. And who cares what you ride as long as you're out there and you're enjoying yourself and you yourself feel as if you're progressing and pushing yourself. Like, it doesn't actually matter what you ride. So, yeah, all I have to say is just go out there and enjoy yourself. It can be a £50 bike. It can be a £100 bike. It can be a £1,000 bike. It can be a £5,000 bike. It doesn't matter what you're riding as long as you're out there and you're enjoying yourself. Because, honestly, for me, mountain biking is such a release. When I'm on my bike and I'm flying down the trails, I don't think about anything else that's going on in my life at that moment in time. I'm literally just holding on for dear life and thinking about everything rushing past me. Um, so yeah, just go out, have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't judge other people for what they're riding. If anything, encourage them because it's such a great feeling and I feel like the mountain bike community is great and it's such a fun thing to be involved in. So yeah, that's what I have to say on that. So, without further ado, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below. And I shall see you in the next one. Ciao.